This is a production of WTVI PBS Charlotte. From sunglasses to shoes, giant white shelves fill the lobby of 3D systems, showcasing hundreds of items created using 3D printers. This is a Cube 3. Over the hum of machines working in the background, 27-year-old Jim Smith shows off the company's latest 3D home printer. What's this printing right now? Right now we're printing uh, the Notre Dame Cathedral. Smith says he's always loved using his imagination to create new things. Definitely Legos as a kid, yes. Now he works as a systems engineer, collaborating with electrical and mechanical engineers to make sure every part of this machine works together. From the injection molded plastic parts, to the design of the cartridge feed system and the print head that actually heats up the plastic as well. 3D Systems commercialized the first 3D printer, invented by Chuck Hall in 1983. Hall went on to co-found 3D Systems just a few years later. Now the company employs more than 2,000 people across the globe and a few hundred here in Rock Hill, South Carolina. Where does 3D printing come into play in a big project like this? Well, it's a, Motorsports is a big user of 3D printing. Buddy Byram, Vice President of Product Management, says 3D printing allows race teams to create prototypes of parts for wind tunnel testing. These days, the machines aren't just limited to big industries with deep pockets. Over recent years, 3D printers have become more accessible and less costly. The Cube sells for about $1,000. If you can dream it, you can make it. 3D printing can be a lot of fun. You can use this handheld scent scanner to scan an object, or it may be your face, your body. Then you can 3D print that image. Ready to give it a try? Just stand still. Take this model and actually print it on a cube or um, a home 3D printer or one of our printers in the full colors. As 3D printers gain popularity, the need for workers familiar with the technology grows. There is a huge need for people who understand the capabilities of what 3D printing enables. Data company Wanted Analytics says the most in-demand 3D printing jobs are industrial engineers, mechanical engineers, and software developers. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, industrial engineers in North Carolina make, on average, $79,000 a year. Mechanical engineers make about $85,000, and software developers bring in about $94,000 a year. You can control it from your smartphone. Um, you can control this with your smartphone? Yes, you can. For Smith, so can it's not about the do? paycheck. It's about the opportunity to transform his hobby into a career. Oh my gosh, you know, this is a dream job uh, to work here with a company that is really uh, pushing the industry. Last summer, he 3D printed this kayak using a printer he custom made. Young, innovative engineers like Smith show us what 3D printing is all about, using technology to turn your imagination into something tangible, proving the sky, or in this case, the lake, is the limit. For Carolina Impact, I'm Danielle Koser reporting.